Scrappy Peeps. Susanna here today for Spiegel Mom Scraps, and this month we are sharing Pinspired projects. So that is the layout that I was inspired by, and I'm going to scrap lift that layout by Anka Kramer. She designs for Hip Hip Club, amongst other um, design teams, and this is the layout that I was inspired to create. I really liked the geometric, the geometric diamonds, uh, and that was what inspired me. She also used sequence on her layout herself um, and so I thought it was a great use of sequence to have those softer rounded edges with the more geometric uh, harder edges of the diamonds and so that is what it, uh, inspired me. So in order to make life easier for myself I actually created myself a silhouette digital cut file and if you want me to put that up for download just let me know in the box down below and I will um, put that in a Dropbox link. If there aren't enough people that want it I, I um, it, it's not worth the time for me. Um, so, but I did create that. That way I was able to get uh, diamond shapes that were symmetrically cut as well as that were symmetrically placed because I am type A highlighted, bolded, and underlined, and I like everything to be um, as perfect as I could possibly get it. So that template afforded me the ability to trace out the flowers that I wanted so that I could have four particular flowers, um, two on the top and two on the bottom bottom of that grid of diamonds there. Uh, when I looked at Anka's layout, she also had those same four pattern pieces of paper at the top and the bottom, and so I did copy that aspect of her layout. Um, she also then had various other pattern papers. I did not go with that same patterning as she had of hers. I just alternated with the pinks and the teals. And the teal came from that notebook paper there from Shamil. In fact, most of this layout is from Shamil's box of crayons and I chose the teal and the pink elements. And then um, I did pull one piece of pattern paper that is going to come from Crate Paper's uh, Cool Girl because I wanted a smaller patterned pink and teal combo. Uh, to tie everything in together, and that's what I went with for those smaller pieces that will come into play in a little bit. So I'm going to fast forward through this. Literally what I did was I traced one of the diamonds um, that came from the cut file out of that yellow uh, around where I wanted things in particular that gave me the exact precision of those diamonds. Um, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to use that stencil that I created from my cut file, my Cameo, and I'm going to use my pencil to draw the top and the bottom of each of those diamonds lightly so that I can go ahead and place them. You saw when I lifted the stencil up uh, how all of my diamonds came with it, so that wasn't going to work and I had to find an alternative method of getting those diamonds placed. Now I do want to do some stitching, so what I'm doing here is I'm just putting a very light dab of adhesive on the back of the diamond. When you are stitching, if you use um, your ATG gun or anything with that thicker adhesive, it gums up your sewing needle, which makes getting a smooth running stitch uh, to be very difficult. So I just put a little bit of my Prima glue pen and that is sufficient adhesive to hold it down to get me upstairs to where my sewing machine is and um, not let things shift, but also not gum up my needle. So this is the crepe paper paper that I referred to. It is just a scrap uh, from a Coco Daisy kit uh, from quite some time ago because I remember it was a snowflake that I cut out of that. Um, and But I like the way that that ties everything together and there's only little bits and pieces of that that are going to show through because I know that that is where the photo is going to go there. So in a minute what I'm going to do is now um, copy Anka's idea where she put sequence between each of these diamonds. So I'm going to use five different sequence mixes. Um, I am not using the whole mix. I am just going to use the colors, the teals, and the pinks that I want. And I want different um, depths of the teals and the pinks, so that's why I have the five different mixes. So what I'm going to use is I'm going to use Hexafrost. Um, uh, the first one that I actually pull out is one of the new mixes and that's called Freezin' for a Reason and I leave the yellow out of that 
And then I want a, a, a darker pink. So at the end, I'm going to get on point for the smaller dark pink. And uh, what else do I have? Spring Wedding. And I used that because it has the wood grain, the pink wood grain that I really liked. And because I had the pink, pink wood grain, I knew that there was a teal wood grain in there. And that comes from Shabby Christmas Chic. So, or Shabby Chic Christmas, pardon me. Um, so I'm just, those are the five mixes that I'm going to pull. And I'm just going to, I'm going to do a combination of some of the lines are going to be pink, some of the lines are going to be teal, and some of the lines are going to be a mix of teal and pink. And I just balance the weights of all of those things on the layout there. Now, I will tell you that I got upstairs and as this, if the sequence hit, if the sewing machine needle, hit the sequence at the wrong angle, the sequence went flying. So I ended up also having to put just a teeny drop of adhesive behind each of the sequences so that I could actually get them sewn. So you will not see that happen in this video, but just a word of warning to you. Um, two of the sequins did shift and they ended up on the pattern paper and I wasn't going to, I couldn't have been bothered to pull them up um, and re-sew them and attach them so I just left them where they were. Um, it worked fine for me. So in a second you'll see me doing the stitching. So super quick and easy to do. That's what it looks like. I literally just ran with white thread a straight line down each of the center of all of those diamonds. And the few that did pop up, even despite the adhesive, I just stuck those down on top of the stitching and and, and it's fine. It doesn't it didn't bother me. Um, yeah, in the ideal world, I would have liked it to have been stitched down, but it just wasn't worth the hassle. So that is the basis, and that's really what I scrap lifted from Anka. Uh, the rest of the layout I've personalized and made my own. She had a huge title over to the right hand side. I wanted, I felt like I had a lot of weight on that left hand side of the layout and probably because I did use a brighter collection than she did. So I needed a little bit of something on that right hand side of the layout to balance out that left hand side there. I wanted the movement in these diamonds um, so and I did sew them down so I did fold up a few of, not fold up, but I kind of pulled up a few of the edges of those diamonds. Again, just I like depth and movement on my layouts and that's how I'm going to get it for this particular layout. Out. So you see to the left, I have a bunch of embellishments that I collected. They uh, mostly it's it's the stickers and the puffy stickers from Shamil, but I have that tag there that is uh, fancy pants. And then I am going to use some wood veneer from Paige Evans from one of her collections. That's a Tuesday morning find, um, and. I've also got that also those labels there from Fancy Pants that I'm going to use, as well as some hearts, some enamel hearts that are from Bella Boulevard. So basically, I just pulled the teals. Um, the the diamonds are enough by themselves. So I didn't want to put too much embellishment, but I did want to put a place to be able to nestle the title. Um, potentially journaling and that's what it ends up being is I nestled the journaling on the tag and then I put the title between the photo and the tag to pull everything together and I end up doing the titling off and the journaling off camera because um, I'm going to be honest with you and I'm going to tell you this photo is of my husband and I and we're smiling um, but we are at a point in our relationship where we're just kind of us. Um, every marriage has its ups and its downs and we're not in a down but we're just kind of in a different place right now and um, so that's that's essentially what the journaling is um, it starts off not every day is a bed of roses but we managed to keep on um, and we're just we're keeping on at this point and um, that, that's what this is about. And I, the reason that I didn't do the journaling and or the title work on camera is because I, I honestly, as I was designing, I didn't actually have a title in mind. I was doing this because I loved this picture of the two of us, um, but not necessarily because I wanted to share the story 
of how this picture came to be necessarily. Um, or I do want to save that because it is part of my life, um, but it isn't necessarily laundry that I need to air on camera, if that makes any sense. We all have um, elements in our lives that we don't necessarily need to share when public. And so that's why I kind of left that part off camera. So that is my inspired layout. Um, do you do any scrap lifting from things that you see on Pinterest? I'd love to know the answer down below. And if you do and you've done something recently, be sure to share it with us over on 15 Minutes uh, with Spiegel Mom Scraps. I hope you are inspired to do some Pinterest inspired projects. Thanks for stopping in today. I hope you're doing well. I look forward to seeing you again soon. Take care.